Today, the Chicago Teachers Union filed a 10-day notice with the Illinois Education Labor Relations Board indicating that more than 26,000 public school teachers, clinicians, and paraprofessionals may go on strike in coming days. The notice is a legal requirement defined by state law. No date for a strike has been set by this leadership. Should CTU members call for a work stoppage, this will be the first teacher strike in Chicago since 1987. This is a difficult decision for all of us to make, but this is the only way to get the board's attention and show them that we are serious about getting a fair contract, which will give our students the resources they deserve. CPS seems determined to have a toxic relationship with its employees. We have been belittled, bullied, and betrayed by this administration. Up. It has to go from the bottom up. These people can't make these policies for the rest of us without having some understanding of what's going on down here on the ground. So it's a problem. And this is an issue that is reaching. It has so many tentacles. You know, it started out as everyone finger pointing at the big banks, but you think it's bigger than that. You guys are teachers. You could be further from the big banks, but you really think you are. Look, this Look. isn't. What's happening to us is what's happening to everybody. They're trying to dismantle public institutions. They are taking money from us, from the public institutions, transferring it to the wealthy. So the problem is, but they're blaming us for all of the ills. So these are the same people that are saying poverty is not an excuse, but they use it as an excuse to ignore poverty. That's where we are right now. So these people owe a lot to everybody that's here on the street. You don't make money by yourself. So the key is, when are they going to understand that this inequitable distribution of wealth is not the American way? It isn't. It's not job creation. This is pure thievery in its purest form. And what are people doing? They're saying this is not the way to run this country. So I'm so honored and I'm so humbled to be here amongst people who really care about what's going on in the city. We're not going to tolerate this, this robber baron behavior. We're not going to tolerate it.